Hello, welcome to Apichip YouTube channel. Today we are going to check out this app called Spaceman, which lets you to view all the spaces or virtual desktops in your menu bar. Before we install the app, in case you are not aware how to manage spaces or virtual desktops on your Mac, well, we can use Mission Control to find out what are the current spaces on your Mac. To find out, to open Mission Control, you can, if your Mac contains a touch bar, you can click on this icon in, on your touch bar to open Mission Control. Alternatively, if your Mac does not contain a touch bar, you will find a key like this at the top of your keyboard, which will be the Mission Control key. You can also enter or leave mission control by swiping up with three fingers. Alternatively, you can also type control up. You need to press and hold the control key and then press the up key to enter the mission control. In my case, I'm just going to swipe up with three fingers and this will automatically open mission control on my Mac. And at the top, you can see that on my Mac currently there are three spaces or virtual desktops which are created. I can create more virtual desktops here with this plus button. So if I click this button plus, it created a new desktop 4 as the virtual desktop. I can navigate to any particular desktop either by clicking on this button or alternatively I can go back to mission control. or I can come out of it. I can set a gesture on my trackpad. To set this gesture up, click on the Apple logo, click on system preferences, then click on trackpad and then click on more gestures at the top. Once you have clicked on more gestures, you will see this option here swipe between full screen apps. Right? Every full screen app opens in a space of its own. So you can swipe between the full screen apps as well as multiple spaces that are open on your Mac by selecting the correct option here. In my case, I've set this to swiping left or right with three fingers. Once I've set it like this, I can move between different virtual spaces on my Mac by swiping left or right using three fingers on my Mac. Now, a lot of times you have a lot of virtual spaces open on your Mac and you're not able to understand which virtual space you are currently on. This is where Spaceman comes very handy. It is a completely free and open source app. So you don't need to pay anything to use this app. To download this app, you need to go to this URL. We will make sure to put the URL in the description of this YouTube video. So simply see the description, click on this link and it will automatically open this website. Once you are in, on this website, simply scroll down and click on this download app button. Once you have downloaded the app, click on the downloads icon inside your browser and then click on spaceman 1.0.dmg file. When I click on it, it will automatically open this window on your finder where you need to Select, drag and drop the spaceman.app icon on the applications folder. Once this is done, you will notice that spaceman is now installed under my applications folder. I can also check out launchpad and if I click, if I type spaceman, I can see that the app is installed. Now when I click on this icon, it will first ask you are you sure you want to open this app which you have downloaded from the internet? I will click on open. And now what happens is at the top you will notice here that I can now see four different icons for four spaces or four virtual desktops that currently exist on my Mac. And currently I am on desktop number one. So if I let's say swipe right to go to desktop number two. Now you will notice that the desktop number 2 is highlighted over here. If I swipe left 
and come back on desktop number one, I can see the same. I can also click on this four icons and click on preferences. Here, I can actually either just show rectangles with numbers or if I change this to numbers, you will notice that here on the top now, it just shows numbers, but not the rectangles. I can just show rectangles as well, in which case none of the numbers are visible. It, it is just visible as four different spaces or I can actually name all of these four rectangles, right? So in this case, right now you can see that all of these four rectangles are not named. That's why it says N slash A. But I can now say that for the space one, I want to name it music. Space and this, you know, even if I type five characters or ten characters, it will only take the first three characters over here, right? So you can actually write something like music over here. Then you can write for space two, you could say coding update name and now you will notice it says cod over here and so on so you can actually name these different virtual desktops and uh, utilize them to understand on which particular space or virtual desktop you are on right now personally i like to set this to rectangles with numbers so that it is compact but it can also show me which particular space am I using right now on my Mac? One final thing, every app that you open on your Mac is open in, open in the window by default. But you click on this, if, if you click on this green icon here in the left top corner, it automatically goes in a full screen view. When the app goes in a full screen view, and if I now swipe with my three fingers down, to see all the open desktops, you will notice that every full screen window is now considered a space on its own. So if I go to terminal, I'm actually on, you will notice here, currently I am on window number five, space five, and this is actually showing terminal. Now if I exit out of this, full screen view within my terminal by clicking on this green icon again here in the top left corner you will notice that the number of spaces here will reduce from 5 to 4 so let me do that now and notice carefully what happens in the space manner now you can see that this is back to 4 spaces if i put this window again in full screen and then check out the space man, you notice that there is a fifth space over here. If I swipe left, you will also notice that there is a light, there's, a, there's an icon here which is slightly different than the icon for one, two, three, and four spaces. This different icon also implies that there is an app open in full screen on the fifth space on this Mac. With that, I would like to end this video. I hope that you found this video useful. If you like the video, please don't forget to like this video. And to get updates about many such free tools and programs for Mac, please feel free to subscribe to our channel by hitting the red button on the bottom right corner of this video. Thank you and have a nice day.